Awete everyone, this is Regulus Pastor. Welcome back to Higurashi no Nakakorune. Sorry, I had to start to butcher that. Uh, this is Tumihoro Boshihen, the sixth arc of the main eight arcs, and the second answer arc. Um, we learned some important backstory on Rena this past Monday. Um, we, oh, we already knew that, she, that her real given name is Rena. Um, but. We found out that she changed it because um, she hated the fact that um, she was called Reina by her mother who basically um, cheated on her husband and only spent time with Reina when she wanted to curry her favor. And then um, when she found out that... Uh, and her mother was horrible, 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 horrible person. Um, she wouldn't let, <coughs> she wouldn't accept calls from her husband that she wanted to divorce. She wouldn't even tell him in person that they were divorcing, and she would make talk through her lawyer. Um, <coughs> she only brought it up to Anna. <coughs> that she wanted to divorce her husband because um, her colleague, uh, who was her lover, who had met Rena, uh, uh, Rena not knowing who he was at the time, got her pregnant. And, um, so Rena never forgave her, forgave her. She gave her mother the same treatment that she'd been giving her father. Um, and um, so, um, and then... We, vis we visited the incident in um, her school in Ibaraki Prefecture that always she mentions Keiichi and Oni Hakusham. And she said she didn't really remember all of that, but she um, next thing she remembers is um, because, of, because of the medicine they gave her to keep her calm and disoriented. Um, she couldn't remember that whole section of her life, but she knows that... Um, her paternal grandmother left her father a house in Namizawa, and she was sure that all the stuff she must, they must have been going through was Oyashiro Sama punishing them for leaving the village in the first place. Um, so she was sure that they could get a new start in Namizawa and they could be protected from the wrath of Oyashiro Sama if they moved back. <coughs> so. Let's continue. Oh, and she's been having this little hideout, this um, abandoned station wagon in the illegal dumping site. Um, <coughs> so, um, <coughs> excuse me. That's sort of her little hideout where she can get away. Um, so uh, let's view these two new tips. I couldn't remember the number before the before it showed how many there were. Um, ah, getting a really sharp pinpoint headache, like right here on my head, all of a sudden. Oh well, I took a leave beforehand to help you know, inevitable throat inflammation from all the voice acting I'm going to be doing. Uh, so let's hope that helps the headache as well. My summer vacation picture diary. <coughs> um, I love that they never tell you who the narrator is until you've already given them the wrong voice and it's too late. Let's assume this is Rena because, um, because she said their mom would take her to work events sometimes. <coughs> Usually as a covert way of um, getting her around her lover and colleague Akito. Today, 
I went to a swimming pool with my mom. Sky. Uncle Akihito-pin with us too. I don't like him because he's sometimes mean to me. He's a very kind and funny old man. He told me to call him daddy for that day. Because he was going to play with me at the pool like he was my daddy. This guy is obviously very vain from the big descriptors that Anna gave. My mom called him daddy, so I did too. Uncle Akito looked very happy and gave me a lot of money. My mom looked very happy, and it made me happy, too. I want to play with him again. I hope my dad can come with us next time. After everything we read, um, you know, this past Monday, that just sickens me. That thought just... That tip just sickens me. It's awful. Premori premonition of rainy days. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to assume this is Vika speaking again. I opened the window, placed my cushion nearby, and prepared to enjoy the weather. But she came over and disrupted my peaceful evening. She always ruins my time of solitude. <laughs> Beating the visual novel at its own game. That's twice. You look... Yeah, sorry. You look pleased. Oh, that's right. You ate lots of your favorite sweets today. This girl loves sweets more than anything. I like them too, but I can't eat like she does. It'd give me heartburn if I eat the amount she ate today. Sounds like... Um, me and my brother, me being more like Rika. Although I like, I like finer sweets. I think my palate is more refined. I like dark chocolate and uh, shortbread and stuff like that. <coughs> he just likes straight up candy, um, and he wolfs a bunch of it. Um, I pace myself, um, but we both get heartburn now. He's been getting it for longer than I have, and he's younger. Much younger than I am. <coughs> she seemed to be very happy, so I'll leave her alone for a while. I've been making my favorite hot and salty food for the past few days, so she must be quite pleased today. It was a very fun day for me, too. I just wanted to enjoy the memory of the excitement I felt today by sitting here quietly, enjoying the sunset. But when I looked up at the sky, I saw some thick clouds forming there. The wind was a bit cooler than usual. It might start raining soon. Uh, I hope that the actual sentence in Japanese is a lot more complex. People say that when, people say that when deep sea animals come up to the shallows, it's a sign of a big earthquake or a tsunami. Come on! We saw a very rare fish that dwells in deep water in the shallows today. Just as the ancient stories of sea monsters say, 
People hate these deep sea animals and tend to interpret them as elements of a disaster. It didn't matter if they showed up alive or dead. Um. Ah, I said something interesting just now. Even if they showed up alive or dead, it was an omen of a disaster. Oh, it might start raining soon. うるさいな。言われなくてもわかってる。洗濯物を取り入れるわよ。いやいや、あいなお。You don't have to tell me. I'll get the laundry. I grabbed a basket and went outside to take the laundry in. Clouds were getting darker. I normally like rain, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it today. Let's continue. <coughs> oh, kita kita. Hey, good morning, Rena. Oh, hiyo, Rena. You're late today. Haha, today Keichiku's no ho ga haya katta ne. You should tell it today, Kate. Come. Who don't want to get a little bit of 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 a little bit I couldn't sleep last night. Lena, mo ka? Oh, you too. Hahaha. 実は俺もなんだよ。Same here. 昨日の大騒ぎの余韻がずっと残っててさ。I was still feeling yesterday's uproar. 布団に入っててもなかなか眠くならなくて夜が長く感じたぜ。It took me a long time to go to sleep. Yesterday, I had a lot of fun with my. <laughs> okay, so this is Kate. I was doubting myself there. Yesterday, I had a lot of fun with my friends and went home still riding that high. I was too full to eat dinner. I kept talking with my parents about the great time I had over the past few days. I was so pumped up that I couldn't go to sleep. Kind of sounds like I'm a little kid. But given that Rena seemed to be the same way, I felt better about it. Same way as what? I couldn't. Think about Boisek. You don't internalize what you say. Yeah. And the yawns have officially commenced at 10:40 p.m. No, I felt better isn't the right way of phrasing it. I should say I'm glad to know that we shared the same feeling. And then I went treasure hunting after I left. I'm sure she found many adorable things. Went home and talked with her parents about how great the day was. Mm. <coughs> Already have the rasp in my voice. That's great. Oh, you're here early. Better watch out for the pigs falling from the sky. Well, if you usually make them wait for you, what do you expect? Or like Mion likes to say in the first arc, I sense preferential treatment here. I know I usually make you wait for me, but do you really have to say it like that? それを言ったら私より先に待ってた圭一君も珍しいよ。圭一君めっちゃ優秀やる日です、モーリン。雪が降るかもね。Today is full of miracles. <笑><笑>一
人のこと言えないね。You're going to talk yourself. Sorry, I'm just smelling my lip balm. It's going to be another happy day to、er, It's going to be another happy day today. I had fun the day before yesterday. I had fun yesterday. So I'm going to have fun today for sure. I'm happy, and m i o n is happy too. Of course, Savannah and my other friends are equally happy. I'm not afraid to say it. And I wish these happy days would last forever. Nah, m i o n He sounds like such a kid. Hey, Mion. What are we playing today? What, for club? Hmm. What are we playing today? Hmm. I don't know yet. Lena, do you have any ideas? Lena, do you have any ideas? So, then. Let's see. I already forget what we're seeing about. I'm so sorry. Uh, my mind is kind of white. From the past couple hours, trying to get lights. Trying to figure stuff out. Ugh, it's been an ordeal. We've been playing athletic games for the past few days, so I'd say something not athletic. So, Dana, you're right. Lena no Yunomo, Ichiri Arze. That's a very good point. Mugatua, Nikta Shop, Dakiga, Sibeti, and Edaro. Our club is not only about athletic performance, is it? Machiran. Of course it's not. Shin, get tight. すべての要素において完璧であってこそ部活メンバーだからね。Our club members have to have brains, skill, and b r a n to boot. じゃあ今日は何かテーブルゲームで遊ぶことにしよう。So why don't we play some tabletop games today? Everybody was early this morning. We can enjoy our walk to school for once. After a while, we started talking about the upcoming festival. They told me that the festival was called Watanagashi, and that's the biggest event of the year in Hinamizawa. So, that's all that. Kino, Kinomia no Yeni, Shinri Gatsumate, Iroto Hanashi Gatan Dakedosa. Yesterday, my relatives gathered at my house in Okinomia. Kejan no Adaiga Detan Dayo. And they started talking about you, Kejan. Oh, or eh? Me? me? Sono Zaki or Juchin Gatsumate, Itai Nano Sodan Dayo. What did the great people of the Sonazaki family have to talk about? Yes, sir. Well, er. Oh, why is my voice cracking? Getting into 13 year old boy mode. Well. Gino no Angel Moto de no Kechan no Katsiako Mitata, Tencho no Yoshiro Ojisangasa. My uncle Yoshiro is the store manager of Angel Mori, and he saw your performance yesterday. ケイちゃんのことを相当気に入っちゃったみたいでさ。He really likes you now. それでいろいろと話を聞いてみたら、他の親類も意外にケイちゃんのことを知ってる人が多いんだよね。So I started asking the others if they had heard of you, and I found out that most of them did. ひなみざわの名物男みたいな言われようだったよ。They said you're famous in ひなみざわ。ね、名物男ってのは。また微妙な称号だな。Famous? Doesn't sound like they m e n in a good way. その称号の9割方はミオンの罰ゲームに関係があるような気がするぞ。Probably more infamous to them because of the punishments you made me do. それだけじゃないけどさ。It's not only that. ノリもいいし、元気があって無鉄砲なところも、今時の若い子にしては関心関心とみんなベタ褒めだったよ。They said that you run in well, that you're full of energy, and that you're a little bit reckless. They said it's rare for a young man in this era to have all those qualities. They were very impressed with you. I felt a bit embarrassed to know that people I haven't even met were speaking well of me. Then, eh, Kongo no Watanagashi no Matsuri de Nanika de Katsiakus to Kurenai Kana, the Hanashiga de Tene. 
And so they invite you to do something at the Watanagashi Festival. Kejan, metas koto to ka suki desho? You like to draw people's attention, don't you? Oi, 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 oi! Hey, hey, hey! Honni, fuzai de, katte ni hanashi o sumeru na! Don't assume things and don't decide anything without me! Uh. Stop registering as a right click, darn you. Ora ga kodoku to seijaku o aisuru, lonely guy da ze? This mouse pad. Don't you know I'm a quiet, lonely guy who loves to be alone? No, you're not. You're not. Dare ga lonely guy da? Oh, lonely guy? Lone boy no machigai de jo? You mean lone boy, don't you? I have no idea what she's talking about. There's something that we're missing here, I'm sure. If you're having trouble with money, we can help you. Oh. So come on, the safe side of the door. Don't be afraid. 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 I'm pretty sure there are many ladies that would disagree with you. Really, anyone can be a pervert. We really were still feeling after effects of yesterday. Mio and I made a lot of noise teasing each other on the way to school. Arena watched us and laughed happily. Satoko and Rika-chan were already there when we arrived at school. They were also full of energy. Tomitaku and Okamura came over too. From that, I could tell that they also had a good time yesterday. Everyone has been having a good time, really. In Hinamizawa, everybody is happy. Mada hikoshite kite, ichi ne mo tatta wake ja nai kedo sa. Yes, because um, that's what Hinamizawa is known for: <laughs> being, having everyone be happy. It hasn't even been a year yet since I moved here, but. Hmm? What is it? What is it? Yes, sir. Hinamiza and Hikoshi Kite. Or a Shiawasi Natana. Oops. I just rested my hand on the mouse pad and that registers the click. Well, I'm just glad that I moved here. What's wrong, Kei-chan? You're being sentimental. Rena, I understand. I understand. When I moved to Hinamizawa, I felt happy with everything. I understand. Oh, you look like I have something at the back of my throat. I guess in a sense I kind of do. I understand exactly how you feel. You feel like everything is perfect. Yeah. I understand. I understand exactly how you feel. You feel like everything is perfect. That you've become happy since you moved to Hinamizawa. Kono mura ni wa ne. I think this village has some kind of power to make people feel that way. Rena, are you happy? Are you happy, Rena? Hmm. Yes. Rena, 
ひなみざわに引っ越してきてからが毎日幸せだよ I'm happy every day here in ひなみざわそうだなそいつは俺もだいや、みつよちょ、ちょっとへっ、へいなんかおじさんだけのけものっぽくない I'll leave this old man out in the cold ブーブー Let me in on the conversation too The sky was clear, and the few thin clouds were pure white. <sighs> the cry of the cicadas was telling me that summer would be coming earlier than usual. Well, that's quick. But then I guess she is just around the corner. I'm sure we'll have great fun at the festival, too. There will be more and more fun days to come. I'm sure of it. Summer is just around the corner. <laughs> That yawn happened during the time of the long transition. The last class of the day was finally over, meaning that it was time for club activities. I was sure it would be fun. I couldn't wait. But then m e t i m e had received a call and told us something had come up and she had to go. So we didn't have a club meeting today. I was really looking forward to it. Aha!、Uh -huh. Ugh, I have Eagle Syndrome, where like the styloid process of these bones attached to the base of the skull.、Uh, they're kind of long and semi pointy, but they're not really supposed to stab into anything, except in this case they do. And I can really feel them digging into my nerves.、Uh, it's a lot of throat pain. Found out this helps a little bit, so、uh, let's spray some more. Uh oh. I'm getting dangerously low. It's not even spraying at full power anymore. I was really looking forward to it. There was nothing I could do. But I could at least chat with k i i t s k u on the way home. It'll be fun. k i i t s k u sometimes says mean things, but he's very funny. When I chat with him, My depression goes away. Wait, what did I just say? Am I depressed? I have so much fun every day, and I'm as happy as I can be. Well, that's the thing about depression it's not just one emotion. You can be even happy, yet sometimes you might still feel like a nudge, like not. To get too happy, to get too attached to that happiness. And sometimes you can feel sad, sometimes you can feel nothing at all, and that those are kind of the worst days. <coughs> What did I have to be depressed about? Well, it was obvious. Because it would eat us up. My father is happy now. Before he met her, he was like a lamp in broad daylight. Honestly, he was like the living dead. But after he, meet Lina, after he met Lina Sam, he started to smile like he used to when he was living with my mother. He enjoyed talking with her and started going out with her. You could probably say they went on dates. Now he looks 10, so 20 years younger. Lina san gets along with my father very well. And she's very kind to me, too. There's actually no reason for me to hate her. But bitter memories of my parents' divorce and my many regrets were gradually eating away at my heart. Was it okay to accept that woman? Lina san might be the same as how Uncle Akito turned out to be. Is she the enemy who takes my happiness away with her very existence? With or without bad intentions? Am I going to sit around until everything collapses again? Should I fight, enemy, before it's too late? Lina san, come back.
comes to my house a little too obviously. Since my father started letting me stay the night, many of our belongings have turned up in the house. My father and I don't smoke, but there's an ashtray in the living room. The futon in our guest room is hers now. In the bathroom is a toothbrush and shampoo I'd never choose to buy. I started to feel awkward about these things. And that's when I started noticing you at the front door when I came home from school. The perfume. I asked my father once if he was thinking about getting, getting married to me, my son. He looked a little embarrassed, perplexed, and confused. He told me, not yet. probably why he couldn't admit that he wanted to remarry. That's why he said, not yet. He'd consider it, but not while I was still living with him. That's what he meant, I guess. There's only one reason why I don't want him to get remarried to Venus home. I feel offended that my sanctum, my family, is being invaded. I might be being selfish, though. I know keeping my father out of myself means keeping him miserable like he was before he met Venus home. He has a life to live, too. It's his right to heal from the pain and the divorce and to live to find his new love. He wouldn't have had to go through that painful life if I prevented the divorce from happening in the first place. <coughs> he has a right to a happy new life that lets him forget the pain he never deserved. And I don't have any right to stop him. Vena, stop right there. It is not your fault that things didn't work out between your parents. It was not your place to do anything. Your mother was being deceitful towards you and manipulative, trying to get you on her side. She wouldn't even speak to her actual husband. Um, she had him make a whole bunch of personal sacrifices her just and she had Lena make personal sacrifices too to help out around the house just for them her to slap them in the face and Lena's kid I mean she's a teenager but a kid nonetheless um, it's not her place to um, to have kept their parents glued together. And <coughs> it's not Tavena's fault. There's nothing she could have done. There's nothing she knew to do. <coughs> and there's, there was no responsibility that was put on her shoulders at any time. And what should I do to make both of us happy? It wouldn't be that difficult. All I'd need to do would be to give my silent approval of my relationship. My father tells me he won't get remarried while we live together. That means I should stop leaning on my own, stop leaning on my family, be strong, and live on my own as soon as I can. Although, that doesn't mean I can tell him not to go out with her until that day. Hina-san comes to our house to see him despite her busy schedule, and she even stays the night whenever her shifts permit. They're adults. I have no right to say anything against that. That's why. That's why I chose to give my silent approval to their relationship, and tried to see her as little as I could. <coughs> I get along with hina on the surface. I know my father would have a hard time keeping face if he didn't. But it's a very exhausting and painful thing to get along with a person I don't really like. Mm, I can feel that. So whenever Lina san comes over, I spend as much time as possible outside, then head home late. 
Me Town's club activities are the most convenient things to do to kill time. But there are some days we don't have a club meeting. On those days, I while away my time at the garbage dump, hunting for treasure alone. And that's how I started to make my secret hideout. <coughs> my father can do whatever he wants with Lina san at home. I don't have to see them together. I can spend my time peacefully at my hideout. I sometimes feel depressed about my life. I sometimes want to talk to somebody about it. But nothing will change, even if I talk to somebody. This is all I can really do. The most important thing for me should be to overcome the sadness of losing my family as fast as I could, and to regain my own happiness. I have so much fun every day. I'm happy every day. Even on the way home, Keiichiku was talking about funny things that made me laugh. My feeling gloomy in spite of that was kind of rude. My father should be happy. I should be happy. I just feel sad because I still can't separate from my father. <coughs> Compared to the unexpectedness of the divorce, Rina-san's invasion is a very slow process. I think Rina-san understands how I feel. She treats me very kindly, but she doesn't do more than that. I think she understands that I'd feel uncomfortable if she did. I respect Rika-chan because she's strong even without her parents. Compared to the pain of losing both her parents unexpectedly, my problem is like nothing. I respect Satoko-chan's toughness too. She also lost her parents and was forced to live a painful life under her uncle and aunt. Compared to the cruel treatment she had to go through, my relationship with Lina san was a blessed one. I keep feeling anxious, but that's just because I'm still immature, and because I feel like I'm not ready to separate from my father. I have to be strong like Rika-chan's Tatoko-chan. I have to try my best to be happy. I'm going to live with all my might, in order to regain the peace of mind that I lost that day. My assumption that I'm not happy is just a mistake. I should appreciate the wonderful days I spend with my wonderful friends. Just by realizing that I'm happy, the world shines so brightly. Listen! Reminder, we have a chat command for that. <laughs> I bet you did. You're an expert at making the most out of every day. Mouse pad. Was... I am I almost forgot what this is in reference to, like the sentence I just said. <coughs> but I remembered at the last moment. こんなにも素敵な友人たちに囲まれて過ごす。こんなにも素晴らしい日々があって、どうして不幸が感じられる? <sighs> A wonderful life and wonderful friends. How can be? How can I be unhappy? Dana, you're right. In Shinamizawa, nobody becomes unhappy. Everybody stays happy. Shinamizawa is free from misfortunes. ちょっとスタートレイ。はい。ひじゃ、キャップゴイン。レナが羨ましいよな。アイム 
If that's what I need to make everything wonderful, I wouldn't mind. Kana, would I? I don't have any dreams. I feel like I do, but that's just because I'm immature and still want my father's attention. Come on. Say the magical words. It will cheer you up. <sighs> Japanese, it's ya starts with e, as in reina. Second, I have to make room. <coughs> uh, now to actually stretch my legs. Uniforms. They looked like delivery people. My father was about to close the door when he noticed me. Tadaima! Hey, I'm home! Nani ko otta no? What's going on? Okairi, Lena. Remember, remember, I was giving him a Harry Mason esque voice in keeping with. <laughs> Last time, because, um, Irena's dad's anime voice actor, not this one, but the anime voice actor, sounds, uh, has a timbre that's a lot like in Harry Mason's voice, but sound a one. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Another simple symptom of Eagle Syndrome. You have a foreign body object in the back of your throat. <coughs> Oh, Lena. Mite goran, sugoi zo. I have a surprise for you. My, my father looked to be in a good mood. I didn't know why he was, but whenever he smiled like that, I just wanted to smile back at him. His eyes used to look like those of a dead fish, no matter how hard I tried to smile at him. But these days, he could put in a big smile just to surprise me. <coughs> He 
he's been literally coming back to life since a year ago when we moved back to Kinoizawa. No, since he started dating Rina-san. When I see him smile like this, I'm happy. But at the same time, I feel confused because I don't know whether I should thank Rina-san or not. Look, doesn't it look great? He took me to the living room. He was probably expecting me to go, oh, oh, ah. <coughs> so, whether there was something in the living room or not, I was ready to go, oh, and ah for him. smiling with satisfaction at hearing my excited voice. I, on the other hand, was desperately trying to understand what was going on. For a moment, I thought it was in someone else's house. You see, the living room had been completely redecorated. The furniture we had was all basically from a former house in Ibaraki. My parents bought most of the furniture when they got married. So it was all old and a little dirty. Some of them still had crayon scribbles I drew when I was very little. But all of that was gone. Everything in the living room had turned to pastel color, looking very sophisticated like the rooms you'd see in soap operas. The new carpet looked very tropical. The new curtains matched with the carpet. The new sofa looked very expensive. The living room in general looked like a resort hotel. The channel switcher of our old TV was broken, and we used to have to use pliers to change the channels. But it was gone too, replaced by a new one with a big screen. <coughs> the room's lights had also been replaced by nicer looking ones. The living room looked like a totally different world under the new fluorescent lights. This looks great, Dad. What made you do this? I did it to get a fresh start. もう引っ越してきて一年にもなるんだから、お父さんもそろそろ気分を切り替えて新しい生活に踏み出さないとなって思ったんだよ。It's been a year since we moved here. I thought it was time for me to reboot and finally start a new life. I suggested redecorating the house once in order to cheer him up, because he was still in pain after the divorce. But he wasn't interested at the time. He didn't want to get rid of the old furniture he had chosen with my mother, because he still couldn't get over her even though she cruelly broke up with him. I wanted to suggest it again when the time was right. I never thought he'd do it on his own initiative. So then, eh? That was a good idea! <laughs> This beautiful living room makes me feel refreshed. I love it. I knew you would. Reina, you always wanted to have a rocking chair, didn't you? I haven't set it up yet, but look. I got it for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's not really saying thank you, she's saying it's awesome. This is mine, right? Right? This is mine, right? Right? Hey, this is for everybody. Not just for you, Elena. <laughs> er, sorry. Not just for you, Elena. <laughs> I understand, but I'm not going to get off the chair once I sit on it. <laughs> My father explained the details of his redecoration proudly. He told me that he only did the little 
living room this time. But he's going to be decorating all the rooms. He should have become more active. How's it going, LaBoost? Ah. There were some parts about the redecoration I didn't like. But I still thought it was great because it made him happy. I found the old furniture outside in the yard. Are you gonna throw them away? Yeah, I think we should. The delivery company is coming later to pick them up. Getting rid of the old furniture means putting an end to my mother. I hated the furniture because it smelled like my mother. Like my mother. And I tried to break everything once. I understand why my father wants to take this opportunity to get rid of them. But, for some reason, this new living room makes me feel like I no longer belong here. My father didn't choose the new furniture. But Inasan probably did. Most likely, my father and Dinasan were decided to redecorate the living room and went to a furniture store to buy everything. <coughs> I tried to think positively. The reason why my father didn't tell me about the redecoration was because he wanted to surprise me. No. My father never really considers things that deeply. So, I suppose he didn't tell me just because he didn't think he needed to tell me. I'm sure he didn't redecorate the living room to make me feel like I was no longer welcome. Don't be negative, Rena. My father didn't have any bad intentions. He doesn't want to get rid of me. He doesn't think I'm the reason he can't get me married. And yet... Why did I feel sad, looking at the old furniture in the yard? Why did I feel like I didn't belong? I realized the reason right away. That reason was me. Damn, wanting to have a fresh start by getting rid of the things that remind him of my mother might be an indication of his unconscious desire to get rid of her daughter. My father doesn't really consider things deeply, so he might not be thinking that I'm the reason he can't get remarried. But he understands that he can't get remarried while we live together. By staying with him, I am torturing my father. It was my fault that he had to get a divorce. That's why I have to support him. To help recapture his happiness. I couldn't just keep him all to myself. Rena. Rena, no. Don't do this to yourself. <coughs> I'd have to start thinking about living on my own. I don't need to go to university. I should think about getting a job. But who would hire an uneducated girl like me? Even if somebody did hire me, I wouldn't be able to earn enough money to live on my own. Maybe I should think about working at a hostess club, like Rina-san does. No. Don't do it, Rena. Not like this. People only choose the jobs they can. A girl like me doesn't have a lot of choices. Not a lot of companies would hire me or pay me with the amount of money that I need to live on my own. But, come to think of it, where is the place where I belong? Whenever I end up feeling like this, I miss my secret hideout in the trash pile. I love to get under my blanket and feel the warmth on a cold night. The hideout gets hot and humid during the day and very cold at night. It's not a comfortable place to spend time in. But it might be the place where I can relax the most, more than I can at my house. No. I shouldn't think like this. I shouldn't think that my house has been invaded by rina -san. I should thank her for making my father happy. rina -san isn't trying to kick me out of the house. He's trying to get along with me, but I'm not opening my heart to her. I'm the bad one. I'm the bad one. And I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Sadly, Skin and his aunt didn't get along at all, and she abused him for a long time. Compared to him, the situation was a lot easier. Satoko-chan and Rika-chan lost their parents, and they live together now. 
We've been through very hard times. On the other hand, I still live with my father. I should feel blessed. I shouldn't think I'm unhappy just because of these things. I am happy. I am blessed. The trouble with me is that I still can't admit that I'm happy. My father kept talking proudly about the redecoration. I nodded at him with a big smile and let him keep at it. Soda, I can't. Oh, I almost forgot. Reina, Reina, can I ask you a favor? Utsukai? Sure. What is it? Otosana, Jacketo, Nichak Hodo, Yofkuyasani, Torio Sasaterunda. I ordered two jackets from the clothing store. Sorengana, Kyoto Dokurashinda. It seems like they came in today. Joto Otosanwa, Kaishu Yoshasan, or Tetsudawana Kanaranaikara, Lena, Kawarini Totekitakurenaika. I have to help the delivery company pick up the furniture, so can you get, go get the jackets for me? Uh, yeah. Mm, sure. Which store is it? I wonder what kind of jackets you got. I can't wait to see them. No matter what they look like, I'm sure Lina san picked them out for him. Although I don't mind going. I'd rather go to the store than listen to his stories about the redecoration of our living room. I got the receipt, asked him where the store is, changed my clothes, and left the house. I started pedaling my bicycle and looked at the old furniture in the yard for the last time. They used to be the object of my hatred, but for some reason, they now made me feel sentimental. Is it because I still regret the loss of my mother, even though I hate her? I couldn't let poisonous emotions take over my heart. I understood that in my mind, but I just couldn't get rid of that feeling. The old furniture was the only stuff that was kicked out of the house. <coughs> it was also a lot of junk that I brought home from the landfill. <coughs> My father was probably going to throw that away, too. He doesn't like the junk I collect. He'll probably let the delivery company take it all together with the old furniture. Just like an animal that rubs its scent on its hum in order to feel secure, I collected all the junk in order to make sure that I could stay here. No, that's not it. I wanted to bring them to my house because they were abandoned by their former owners. And they needed a place to live. Higurashi no nakukoro ni hem. The store where my father ordered the jackets is from a fancy boutique. It's hard to believe my father would shop at a store like this on his own. I could tell right away that Rina-san took him here. I handed over his receipt to the cashier. A short time later, the store manager came out wearing a perplexed look. Ryugu-sama, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. But it seems like the truck carrying your jackets is stuck in traffic. I can't speak today. It was like a CD skipping or something. It should be here soon, though. He said that the driver. He said that the driver called you. He said that the driver called a while ago. Told me he just got off the highway. It would be here in an hour. Or in about an hour. I didn't need to know all the details, but he explained them to me anyway. I asked him if I should come back tomorrow. He insisted that I should wait because the truck would be coming shortly, and he urged me to take a seat on the sofa. But I didn't really feel comfortable waiting there, so I told him I'd be back soon and left the store. <coughs> Excuse me. I wondered if there are any fast food restaurants nearby. I might have to go all the way back to the station. I looked around and found a coffee house. The glass on the door was black, so I couldn't see inside. But 
I was supposed to say the price for a cup of tea is lower than normal for women on weekdays. I'd just be going to get a cup of tea to kill some time. It should be okay. to get it going again. I'd just be going to get a cup of tea to kill some time. It should be okay. But still, mm -hmm. I hesitated to go inside before opening the door. The first impression of the coffee house was the smell of... I guess I should just read this in my regular, in my generic narrator, narrator voice. Her first impression of the coffee house was the smell of cigarettes. It's normal for coffee houses to be filled with cigarette smoke. It's like a requirement. Not in this day and age. But this is 1980. It's normal. Uh, yeah, I said this. But Elena still regretted her decision. While she was thinking about leaving, Rock, the proprietor, spoke to her aggressively and showed her to the table. And then I gave up on the idea of leaving and sat down. The atmosphere in the shop was far from a clean, normal coffee house where you could go to simply enjoy coffee and cigarettes. It was more like a place where vulgar people could hang out. Elena didn't feel comfortable at all, but what bothered her most was the laughter of a man and a woman sitting together at the very back of the, sh back of the shop. Her table was behind a planter, so depending on how one looked at it, one could say she was in the spot most protected from the laugh from their laughter. Elena looked as though she wanted to leave as soon as she finished her tea. The bell hanging from the entrance door. Letting her know a customer just came in. Ah. <coughs> it was a little surprising for her that a coffee shop like this could draw in so many customers. Arena peeked at the newcomers from behind the planter. There were two of them. They looked like vulgar men, the kind of people you didn't want to get involved with the instant you saw them. The proprietor tried to show them to a table, but they ignored him and walked towards the back. They walked up to the couple who had been laughing loudly and greeted them with a bow. Oh! Oh, this guy's voice again. <coughs> I'm gonna need more of this. Hey! You finally made it. Sit down. Couples. Oh, excuse me. I almost had a yawn. Oh, it's wanting to come. Here we go. <laughs> the couple stopped laughing. The man told the newcomers to sit down in a threatening tone of voice. The soak them for about 15 seconds.
trying to keep it from numbing the whole top of my tongue by catching some of it in a tissue before I even went to spit it out. <coughs> Instructed, the two of them took a seat. And they? So? Do you got that? What happened? We're very sorry. We tried. Cut it, dipwad. Let's hand it over. The two of them looked at each other before they each took an envelope out of their pockets and put it on the table. The man roughly grabbed the two envelopes and tore one of them open. Inside, there were many wrinkled 10,000 yen bills bound into a bundle with a rubber band. It's interesting in th that in the Japanese way of counting, the comma should be here. This is every, every four digits. Opened the other one to make sure it also had cash in it, and then threw it to the woman. Oi, what's in there? Hey, hey, got him. Chotto, I just need me to shine the clear. Hey, don't order me around. Moto moto, I just no cane nanda kara. This is originally my money, you know. Jara maju, jara. I'm at the cousin in me. Just go on and count them already. The man yelled at the woman. She looked her thumb and started counting the cash expertly. <laughs> the two newcomers hung their heads while she counted. Lighting a cigarette, the man waited for her to finish counting. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's all here. The woman said that after flicking through the last bill. The newcomers looked relieved. The man, however, didn't look satisfied as he stared at the bundle of bills the woman was holding. Let's go. Let's go. How much is there? What? I told you, it's all here. I'm asking you, how much is that? That's right. I told you. I told you. All the money I lent them. All the money I lent them. No, you can't. I'm asking you if they paid you the interest. The man in Militsko, the man in Militsko yelled at each other. Even though they were making all that noise, the other customers acted like they didn't hear anything. Oi, Nizangata. Hey, boys. Niagman bitanko kyanaine. There's only two million here. Do you got ya? What's going on? The two of them were trying to find some excuses to make. It seemed like this behavior had touched the man's nerves. Started looking furious. What the heck is this? I asked her, What's going on? You better start talking. His angry voice echoed through the shop. Er, his angry voice echoed through the shop. Sorry if I made the mic beat. He hit the table hard and dropped a glass on the floor. The noise thickened the tension. We are very sorry. Being sorry doesn't give her the interest, does it? I don't mind calling the police to solve our problem, you know? Please don't. Two newcomers must have been in an extremely vulnerable position. They bowed so deeply that their foreheads almost touched the table. So you can be started to kill you on me. I called you here because I thought you wouldn't want to want me to involve the police. So they got do you kiss me and skip that now, huh? For then you act like you don't freaking care. Hmm? 
this seems like a this <coughs> this act kind of reminds me of uh, the op or, well not the opening but the next scene in Pulp Fiction when <coughs> uh, when Samuel Jackson's character is unnerving uh, their hit um, that they're about to kill and grilling them. We're sorry. We're very sorry. While well, you could pity them, while you could pity them, the newcomers look as vulgar as the man threatening them, making it hard to decide whether you should feel sorry for them or not. After a while, Nitsuko opened her mouth as if to offer them help. Don't be so mean to them. My guy gets mad easily when money's involved. You don't have to have the money part. I'm getting ticked because... Um, I'm getting ticked because they're moaning at ya. Mo, baka na koto itte mo, nan ni mo de nai wa yo. Jeez, saying those stupid things won't get you anything. <laughs> <laughs> the man pulled Elitsko roughly into his arms and frantically kissed her lips without caring about the other customers. Their kiss wasn't like the lovely ones that normal couples would share, it looked obscene instead. He let her lips go to take a breath, kissed them again, and repeated that for a while. After a while, he finally got bored of kissing and let it go. He gets really mad when it comes to me, too. He's impossible. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, so what? This is the this woman's like a part of my body. Put a dirt on her, it means putting dirt on me. Whoever tries to do that is in for a bloodbath. You remember the guy with the comb over? I forgot what you did to that guy after what you did to that guy after you took him outside. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bagala. I remember him. Omote Dero to Nukashonkara. Kagato Kurutiatoa. He challenged me, wanting to take it outside. Yaro karate yaro to ka nuka shoru kara dono te to ka omota. Chato shibai tara, soku doge za yan. He said he did karate, so I got a little excited to see what he had, and I punched him in the stomach. Then he just kneeled down on the ground. Kyoshi nuke shita kara zubon nugase te, so itsu de kono omote no hodo o migakase te yatta wa. I was disappointed, so I took off his pants and underwear. And made him clean the public toilets with them. Oh, See, I'm out in society. Um, outside of where, I'm wondering. Where would there be public toilets outside? <coughs> Unless I took them outside and back inside. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See? I'm up in society. I deserve an award for that one. I can't believe you made him do that. You're so gross sometimes.
this. They started laughing loudly like they were doing earlier. The laughter obviously intimidated their companions. Fasten you two. Tetchan, Kyoane, Sun Gokuki and Gaino. Tetchan is actually in a very good mood today. Who done that? Then you got Tari in this hoggy dust. Imagora ante that is Padakanisarete, Tamakoma and Tatakomarete. Usually he'd start yelling, This isn't enough, this isn't enough money. And you'd be thrown into the Oji River naked by now. Zumahan, Zumahan. We truly apologize for the inconvenience. Ma. Well, Well, you forgot about the interest, but you did put together all the rest of the money in time. I'm impressed. So I'll be nice and take that into consideration, you know. So Anyway, Is it just his interest rate is a little high. But it's only five if you pay it today. If you wait even a day longer, it'll be doubled. So stara anta tachi sugu ni sakadachi shite mo haraenaku nat chau wa yo. And if it's doubled, I don't think you'll be able to pay it no matter what you do. Dene? Atashi anta tachi no ii hanashi ga an no. So? I'm gonna make you a deal. Tetchan? Wari kedo anta, chotto seki o hazushite chouda? Tetchan, would you give us a minute? Tch. Tch. Shou ane na. Sure, I guess it's okay. <coughs> the man left at the table with a grin and headed for the bathroom. He was far too amenable to that request, as if they'd planned for him to leave the table at that moment. Itsuko made sure he was in the bathroom, and took some papers out of her bag and spread them on the table. Anta tachi mo wakai da kara. You're young. Anna yakuza ni karamarete, isho o fui ni shitaku nai desho. You don't want to ruin your life because of an outlaw like him, do you? Da kara ne, tachi no rishi wa kyo kichi haratchai na sa. So, I recommend you pay all the interest today. So, oh, if you do, you can cut your ties with him. We, we understand that, but... We can get 500,000 yen just like that. まあそうよね。200万だって相当精一杯集めたんでしょ。I understand. I bet you tried really hard to collect that 2 million yen. さらに50万も工面できるあてなんてないでしょ。I understand this no one who help you out with another 500,000. <laughs> they must have done their very best to collect even the money they brought today. So, it must be impossible for them to collect even a dime from anybody now. <coughs> they hung their heads and told me to told me that. Then? However, Hora, Kiyoki Kasete, Atashina Kaitiki Tagetano. Take a look. I made this for you. <laughs> <laughs> The guys looked at the paper on the table and muttered under their breaths. Tampo mo rentai mo iranai nde, choi to liritsu wa ari dakedo. You don't need collateral or a joint guarantor for this, so the interest rate is a bit high. Kore nara, soku 50 man tsunde kureru wa yo. But with this, you can take out a loan of 500,000 yen right away. Sore ni san, kono liritsu demo, tetchan no liritsu yori wa haru 
カニマシだと思うんだけどどう思うかしら Even this interest rate is a lot better than t i c h a n s What do you think? It would be easy for anyone to guess what Pitsko was trying to force them to do. これにサインしたのを見せれば彼も男気を感じて勘弁してくれると思うわね。If you show him with show him this with your signature on it, I'm sure he'll let you off. どうする ?It's your choice though. ああ、万年筆。使うなら置いとくわよ。If you need a pen, you can use mine. Here. They read the small print on the documents and were stunned by the outrageous interest rate. Itsuko didn't force them to do anything. She just looked out the window and smoked her cigarette. After a while, the man returned from the bathroom. Oh, I'm not sure I'd see that. Hey, did you come to an agreement? They looked at him, steeled themselves, and took the pen. てっちゃんの利子、借金で一括返済するって。そうそう、関心なワコードだね。おおお、that's great. I'm impressed. 男は背負うもんがなくちゃあかんね。And get tougher when they have something burdening. They must have planned this from the very beginning. The man and the Ritsuko got what they wanted and grinned at each other. There were many things to fill out on the documents, and it was taking them a long time. I'm trying to crack my back. If you're wondering what I'm doing, sorry, I bumped the mic. <coughs> the man and the Ritsuko, already knowing them, started talking in one s e c o n d リツコお前のひなみざの旦那の注射どうなんねリツコ How's your husband and ひなみざは doing? うん ?Why? 旦那なんてよしてよね He's not my husband. どうなんよ What's going on with him? I already has a lot of money. How much do you think you can squeeze out of him? So, 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 ゲイあるらしいのよね。かなりってどのくらいね。No、voice, <coughs> 銀行に五千万くらい持ってるわよ。But I've done it before, so that helps. He has about fifty million yen in the bank. アブクゼニなわけだしね。もう気前がいいのなんのって。He's a big spender. <笑> wow! なんでそれ ?That's real big. How much? 50 million yen. I don't know what that would have been like back then.
let's say... So this is Saturday. So would this be the 11th? June 11th that it's supposed to be on? Because it's the night of uh, Watanagas. Um, before that it was the conversion rate was... Um, One dollar equal about 242 yen. Um, 242. So let me see. Sorry to do all these calculations and hold the stream up, but this is interesting. Da, 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 da. 50 million divided by 242.2. That's what it is, 242.2. And then, wow. So it's 206,440 dollars and 96 cents. Um, so let's search that. Last year. So 252.12. Uh, back to the calculator. Uh, times 252.12. Wow. A fair bit over 52 million. 52. Er. Uh, no. No, something has. I have to divide that by 100, that's right. Forgot that part. <laughs> so, about $520,000 in the bank. Lower for now. $520,000 in the bank. Wow. Ne? Do no hemo de gezo nan ne? So, he has over half of a million. How much do you think you could squeeze out of him? He has a big crush on me. He buys me anything I want. Anything. He's not cheap like you. He's not cheap like you. I might get serious about him. I don't think so. Your body won't be satisfied with anyone but me. Ew. 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 So, what's the plan? <coughs> you think I'm thinking about telling him I need some money to get rid of my ex-boyfriend. How much are you going to ask him for? So, <laughs> Well, it's... ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Then let's bring it over to the loan company. Mitsuko, take care of the check, will you? The man pat the man pat them on their shoulders and then walked to the door. <coughs> Another person was just about to enter. Probably wouldn't make way for the person considering his personality. <laughs> but when he noticed who that person was, he stepped aside. The person looked as vulgar as all the other men. He was wearing a black suit and sunglasses. He wasn't that big, but his stern look was very intimidating. It was clear at a glance that he was a gangster and a professional. Behaving badly earlier, looked a little nervous in front of him. Yeah. As Ibitsuko finished paying the check, she noticed the man in the suit. Uh, so is she hiding? Uh, general manager. Oh, so he must manage uh, the host club she works at. What, the Blue, Mer Blue Mermaid? Domo, why are Felt the same thing and tried not to look at him. The man in the suit looked around and found the menu on the wall. The proprietor walked up to him, hesitant. Master. Hey, waiter. Hey, hey, waiter. Hi. Nani ka buchu hon ga gozaimashita de shou ka? Do you have this seasonal dessert? Sweet something or other today? Huh? Huh? Ah, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, ah, no, actually, we aren't running that today, but. Well, if you insisted that we could specially make it for you. Muri nara muri to itte kurereba ii. If you're not selling it, you're not selling it. Denaosu. I'll come back some other day. Ora, Kasai! Hey, Kasai! Hey, waifu. Tokubetsu ni goyoi te itte kureteru janai desu ka? He said he'd make it for you. Koko made kite mitto mo nai. Another unwifeable part of Shield. She takes advantage too often. Take his offer. We came all the way here. The girl seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the heavy atmosphere in the shop. And she came in laughing cheerfully. It was Sonozaki Mion's twin sister, Shion. Shion pushed Kasai into the store while he hesitated. She looked at a girl who was sitting down and stopped in her tracks. Oh, it's you. Hello. Rena san san, isn't it? How are you doing? Oh, 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 I'm surprised to see you here. Are? Huh? Oh, Are you here by yourself? Yotoshite, dareka to machiyawase? You waiting for someone? Onee kana? 
。Is it ISIS? いやいや、ひょっとしてケイちゃんかな ?Or maybe could it be K ちゃんあの、シーちゃん。あ、uh, ーちゃん。その連れの人は ?Who is this? のこと Are you talking about Kasai here? まあ私のボディーガードとかを持っていてください。He's like my body guy. 命の危険が迫ったら、カサイが守ってくれるんだよね。He'll protect me when my life is in danger, won't you? それがお望みでしたら、命に変えてでも。Um, it's funny. In the anime, he actually said no. <laughs> Which I thought was a little confusing. Even if she owns not the heir, and she's kind of <coughs> treated as an outcast by the other Sonozakis. I'll give my life for your sake if that's what you want me to do. Wow! Kasai, after 20 years, I'm going to get a little bit of a problem. Kasai, if you were 20 years younger, I might have fallen for you. 顔は怖いけど面白いやつです。He looks scary, but he's a very funny guy. こちらはね、リュウグウレナさん。This is リュウグウレナさん。お姉のお友達。She says his friends. カサイです。My name is Kasai. よろしく。Nice to meet you. えっと、カサイさん。あん、カサイさん。さっきすれ違った人たちは知り合いですか誰私は全然あんなの見たことないけど。男は北条鉄平。The man is Hojo Tepe. Choito Lady Shiraz no Rokudenashis. A skunk of a human being. Shion seemed to know who he was once he heard the name Hojo. Okay. I am going to turn up the fan a little bit. I am profusely sweating from my pites, and that is not good. So I'll be back. About 30 seconds. Sorry, I also、um, changed in some, into some mesh shorts in a while because it's hurting, or not hurting. It's making my legs sweat really bad. I can't stand it. Onna no hito no ho wa? And a woman? Mami ya Rina. マミアリナ。I believe that's her business name. 確か、リツコって名前だったかと。フラワーロードの店の一つで働いている従業員です。Her real name is Ritsuko, I think. 
She's a hostess at Flower Road. Kasai-san. Kasai-san. Rina-san to Sono Hojo-san wa doyu hito tachi nan desu ka? Do you know what he used to have? Totemo naka ga yosa sou ni mie mashita. It looks like a couple to me. Hojo wa tashi ka Rina to wa fukai naka ka to. Hojo is Rina's pimp. Tachi no arui renchu desu no de. You're very, very bad people, so you should never get involved with them. Sorry. I feel I think a mini pimple is like at the border of my lip. And you know how sensitive lips can be, so that's a really bad place to get it. How bad are they? Is Rena pressed him for the answer? Kasai seemed to back down a little from that pressure. Onna no shisekatsu ni aa furenai no ga jinji ってもんです Sorry. It's more courteous to stay out of a woman, out of a woman's private affairs. Dou tachi ga waru in desu ka? How bad are they? Sore wa go kanben o. Please don't ask. Dou tachi ga waru in desu ka? How bad are they? But then I kept asking the same question until she got an answer. She won't sense how desperate Rena was and cut into the conversation. Kasai? Kasai? Ijiwaru shinai de oshiete age nasai yo. Why don't you just tell her? Kyomi honi de kiiteru wake ja nasa sou desu sa? I don't think she's asking out of curiosity. Ne, Rena san? Am I right? There was tension developing between Rena and Kasai. Xiong seemed to be the only one who couldn't read the mood. Kasai finally opened his mouth. They're both skunks, really. I've heard that they make a living by gambling and blackmailing. I've also heard that they set up badger games. Sagi te... Donna? Sorry. What's up, badger game? I tell you, Sagi te no wa... Ma, nani? Well, a pedigree game is like a. Hekkon sagi ってやつですか？ Marriage fraud? 要するに、男の人に言い寄って、いい感じになったところで、相棒の男が乱入して、俺の女に何しやがるって金を巻き上げる古典的狂喝です。The woman finds a catch, a man who has money, and begins a relationship with him. Then her boyfriend shows up and catches him in the act, blames the guy for stealing his girlfriend, and then blackmails him for money. First the woman makes him buy expensive stuff for her, and then she and her boyfriend take all of his money. Recently, the big fight was reported as a rumor. There's a rumor that she's got her, that she's got herself a big catch recently. Yeah. Wow. So, Ria, do you know what I'm talking about? But it's a joke. Whoever that is, I'm so sorry for him. Well, the guy had some fun with her too. I guess he gets what he deserves. Um, that's another unwaifu trait to Xiong. Sorry, uh, I had a scab like on the inside of my nostril. I was getting way too much, so I had to you know, scrape it, scrape the loose parts as much as I can. But still, it's bugging me. So nice, You tell her, Katai. That's a little harsh, she won't sound. Otoku wa toki ni korotto onna ni damasare jimau mon desu yo. Sometimes falls for a woman very easily. Oh, oh, really? 
何それ。カサイをコロッと騙した女って誰 ?I wonder who you fell for。マスター、デザートは私とカサイと、あとレナさんでって。あれ ?Waiter, bring the dessert to us, please.Wait, where did she go? 今、お帰りになりましたよ。She just took her leave. Then I was already gone. The door, which had just closed, looked as if it were the only thing that knew where she went. When I got home, the door was locked. I used my key to get in, and I found a note in the living room. Something's come up, so I have to go. I'm going out to eat out. I'm going to eat out tonight. Is what the note said. This wasn't the first time he'd done something like this. Each time he only told me he had to go to Okinamiya for something. But I knew the real, the real reason because I heard him talking on the phone once. Rina san must have had some free time between jobs and asked him out to have dinner together. I heaved, I heaved a sigh, looked at the new living room I hated, and went to my room. I fought back over what I had just heard at the coffee house. I tried to rationalize the meaning of her actions there. Maybe she had to pretend to be a bad person because she was being threatened by the man. But even after the man she called Ditchan left the table, she continued to threaten the guys and push them into signing the, the loan contract immediately. If she were threatened to play along with the man, she wouldn't have done that. If she were pretending to be a bad person, She could have shown a little bit of mercy or sympathy when he left her alone with him. It's like holding water in a bowl you made with your hands. No matter how straight you made the bowl, water would leak from your fingers. Mercy and sympathy leak out from you. But nothing, not even a drop of water, leaked from b l i n a s a m Her hands weren't even moist, they were all dried up. There was no water that could leak through those hands. Rina san was, was threatening those guys as much as the man was. Neither was leading the other along. They were doing it together. That was it. That was it. Rina san is a bad person. Everyone's a bad person. Everyone. We've all been evil. But I get what she's trying to convey here. My brain cells accepted the idea with applause. Udina is openly coercing and manipulating, blackmailing others. After all, I always hated Udina s a n I just couldn't accept the feeling because my father liked her. But at that moment, I finally could accept it. She's a bad person, just like my mother. She's an existence that will ruin everything and destroy my father's happiness just by being with him. But I wonder if my father would understand that Lina san is a bad person if I told him so. My father likes her so much that he would jump over a cliff if she asked him to. He thinks everything she does or says is great. He interprets everything about her in a positive way. He protects her and praises her without, ask, without her asking him to. I'm not a kid anymore. I can understand how a woman can tame a man. It's different from love. Love is about trying to build a relationship. Taming is just a way of satisfying the lust to dominate. She's just trying to make him into a slave. Women can deceive men, even my father. They can use dirty methods to ensnare men like they're following a manual. It's the weak point all men are born with. Even with a strong will, they can't resist it. I don't know about that. I, I feel like that's a little too escapist. I feel like that sort of language that uses, <coughs> you know, great sexual urge as、um, an excuse or a pretense for any bad behavior that might follow. We're all called to discipline ourselves and resist. That's why we hate those women who exploit that weak point to deceive men. 
That's why I couldn't bring myself to like it in that song. For the sake of an argument, let's assume I acknowledged and reciprocated love like that. But that would only be as long as it was love. If it weren't love, if it was just a method to threaten and squeeze money out of them, I would never forgive her. I remember their conversation at the coffee house. Huh. Those high shrill tones aren't bothering me as much as they were in Mayakashim. They were really bothering me. I had to turn the volume all the way down. Okay, now they're starting to bother me. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Nina san said that my father is a big spender. In fact, I think he spends more money without hesitation than before he met Nina san. I was happy that he started to gain an interest in going out into the world again. But now I don't know whether I should be happy or not. He could tell so many of the Hugo family overall. But since I do the grocery shopping, he often gives me his bank book so that I can withdraw money. Because of that, I know where he keeps his bank book, his personal seal, and other important stuff. They're in one of his drawers, which usually locks. I know where he hides the key. And I know the combination of the cash box inside the drawer. He might be coming back soon, so I felt a little nervous. But I had to make sure. I opened the cash box, which had, which had some bank books, personal tools, stamps, and unused postcards. I removed everything from the cash box to get at the bank books. Then I found something new. On the bottom of the box, there's a bundle of new 10,000 yen bills. Its thickness wasn't something I could ignore. There was also a paper wrapper that looked like it had been bundling the bills. The rapper had a stamp that said it was a bundle of a million yen. He usually kept some cash at home because it was troublesome to get to the bank every time he needed money. But it was usually around 100,000 to 200,000 yen at most. He's never kept such a big amount of money at home before because he knows it's unsafe. The extraordinary amount of 10,000 yen bills was abnormally intimidating. I tried to open the bank book, but my fingers got numb all of a sudden. Part of me was trying to deny the things I heard at the coffee house. It wasn't because I wanted to do it for my father, or even did us home. It was because I didn't want to believe my father was the husband and Hinami Sawa, the black male we're talking about. I opened the bank book. The last time I saw it was about two or three months ago. It shows countless withdrawals since that day. I probably wouldn't normally understand what those numbers meant. But I felt in that moment as if the ten different digits were speaking. They were a series of cruel digits. It starts with some understandable expenses that I assume represent dinners or something. But then, the amount of money starts to become nice round numbers, like a five or a ten. I can tell by looking at the dates he withdrew money that he wanted to have a certain amount of cash on hand when he went out with the song. Among those expenses, a big number appeared all of a sudden. <coughs> it was too much money to spend on the date. Hundreds of thousands of yen. I looked at the date of the withdrawal, and I traced it back in my memory. I remembered, around that time, Irina san was talking about moving into a new apartment. I know the market rate of rental apartments in Okinomiya. I need to put down two, two safety deposits and two payments of key money in order to rent an apartment. That amount of withdrawal is only reasonable now. He paid the whole down payment for a new apartment. After that, Big numbers appeared one after another. I could tell they were for congratulatory gifts for a new apartment or something. The numbers got bigger and bigger. It looked like at first he was, was withdrawing only the amount of money needed, but then he started withdrawing big amounts all at once because he knew he was going to use it someday anyway. Change meant only one thing. He lost his sense of the value of money. <coughs> oh, excuse me. balance kept going down, and I started feeling anxious about what's going to happen if he continues spending money like that. But then I saw a deposit of a big amount of money into the account. Where did that money come from? There was only one thing I could think of. I opened the other bank book. It was easy, like a puzzle for kids. It was like playing with an easy jigsaw puzzle that comes with huge pieces that you don't even have to put together to see what the whole picture looks like. My father was using money from his time deposits. 
In other words, the settlement my mother paid my father when she divorced him. To him, it's cursed money. I'd understand if he wanted to use it to get a new love. But that was just an excuse to use the money from his time deposits. Money is money. Even though it's just divorce sale money, it's still important money for a future. Even though it's cursed money to him, that doesn't mean he can waste it. Big expenses start appearing one after another. There are many expenses, upwards of six digits. For some reason, I could immediately tell they were for buying electric appliances and furniture. He must have been buying everything she asked him to. If, from the beginning, Vida son was only seeing the check if he could end up being a big catch, she must have been trying to find how much money she could squeeze out of him. Him, my father bought her anything she wanted, no matter how expensive it was. So she probably thinks of us as the perfect catch now. The numbers in the bank book told me so. <coughs> Simple numbers it did in the bank book and started talking to me. Around the time he started withdrawing big amounts of money, me and my son started coming to the house more often. And she started, she also started spending the night. Did he know My father was the first is the guy who spends big money. But around that time, she landed her big catch. My father used to refer to her as my friend in looking at me at first. But then he started referring to her as Adina around that time. This is partially his fault. But he was betrayed by his other wife. And he's feeling hurt and down for a long time. <sighs> it's also partially my fault. No, it is not, Rena. Stop it. <coughs> That's right, I didn't want to blame him. He's not that good looking either. There's no way he's immune to women. He must have not been able to resist an attractive lady who aggressively approached him when he was feeling down. He's crazy about Lina Sam, and he can see nothing other than her. There's someone close to me in my family <coughs> who is not being financially used, but whose girlfriend has been pushing uh, all of his family away as much as she can without compromising, um, you know, the need for the more immediate relative in between um, me and him um, for like, when he has health stuff, because he's like in a wheelchair. Um, but all the pictures, um, family pictures of me and my sister, all the old things that reminded him of his family, she threw out in a bunch of trash bags while uh, while trying to clear the house for him. And I can understand, you know, clearing a house so that there could be a wheelchair and stuff like that, and everything could be accessible. But she was deliberately using it as guys, and she had um, done other sociopathic things, um, slighter things before. And she had turned another member of my family, um, or she had turned um, my relative completely against another member of my family, who might also love a lot. Um, and it's just been hard, but the family's just been coping with it to try and make it easier. <laughs> because of his health problems and everything. And <coughs> because unlike his girlfriend, we don't want to be the ones to um, make him choose. So I know exactly what Rena, what Rena is talking about with this. I can't blame him. Because Serena son trained him to be that way. I put the bank books and the other things back into the cash box. This cash box is just like my father's heart. Serena son is eating up the contents. What should I do? Think for you, good Anna. Should I tell him about Serena son's scheme? No, that probably wouldn't do anything. The whole point of taming an animal is that it won't run away from its owner. Even when the door is wide open. My father probably won't leave his cage even if I open the door. Should I confront Anina Nina saw her about her about her plot when he's with her? The results will be the same. Anina Sam would run behind his back. 
He'd probably try to protect her. And she pressed her breast against his back, protect her no matter what. I couldn't make this a problem between me and him. First of all, I was trying to get rid of Rinasa for his sake. If we got married at each other, it would give the advantage to Rinasa. It would be like I was putting myself into her trap. Then, that meant, I couldn't make him do anything. If I couldn't make him break up with Rinasa, I'd have, I'd have to talk to Rinasa directly. Oh, it's so hard to do with Anna's voice anymore. I need some hydration. Disconnect. You have received new tip. A new tip. Property estimate. I did not go offline. Achievement unlocked. The husband in Hinamizawa. Go away, Steam Chat. Nobody likes you. Okay, maybe this will help it. Maybe this will help too. Achievement unlocked. The husband in Hinamizawa accidentally uncover a horrible truth. <coughs> so, We'll save it here. We'll pick this up on Monday. Our schedule is Higurashi nights or Monday and Thursday nights. Uh, we've been trying to play some game in the interim on Tuesday nights. Normally, I'd be playing through the Spyro Reignited Trilogy on the PS4, but since I don't have red-white yellow cables to see the display, um, we've been doing Oblivion instead, but I don't know how much longer we'll be doing that game. Nope, I didn't want to continue crap. Yes, I am sure. So, um, if you like what you see, please um, join, that, join this Discord server um, that I'm linking in the chat uh, right there. Um, why am I drawing a blank? It's when you get, where you get notified as to when we're about to go live and how you keep in contact with our lovely community in the meantime. So, with that in mind... Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. And as always, if you like what you see, please feel free to com uh, click like, comment, follow, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Any feedback you can give me at all will help me tailor my future content towards your interest. I'm Ray Rooms Pastor, and until next time, bye! -bye.